barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe but don't forget March 16th is going down I literally before I hit record on this video I just sent in the payment for the breakfast uh, waffles uh, some potato medley warm syrup chicken and waffles uh, salmon hand bites uh, all juice bar bottomless mimosas we in that motherfucker man so i appreciate y'all come on out thirty dollars is thirty dollars is worth th definitely thirty dollars so anyways man I, I thank you in advance but i want to talk about something really really important to me and uh i haven't watched anybody's videos but i saw the titles and i and i can tell that it was a conversation that that we've been having online i've been running around yesterday and um about deontay wilder and should it be pay-per-view listen let, let me explain something to you what's the goal Deontay Wilder right what has Deontay Wilder done for us everything we've asked and more every no everything we expect as a fight fan we haven't asked him he's just done it you know he we haven't begged please Deontay Wilder please. listen I'm, I'm gonna be as real as I can be as real as I can be as real as I can be with you guys Deontay Wilder is the most accessible and the most powerful boxer in sports. To us, not to Dan Raphael, not to all these other media, these major media. I'm not using color. I'm talking about major media outlets that we consider major media. He is accessible to us. You know, um, uh, I remember listening to 78 say something to the effect of he texted him after the fight. Deontay Wilder texted him back in the locker room. Come on, man. Uh, Deontay, he broke the news. The Tyson Fury fight was happening on 78. Uh, Blue Blood just spoke to him a week ago. You know, and... Um, man, that's a beautiful thing, man. Like, I told you what my mindset is as it relates to the heavyweight champion of the world because I grew up in the Mike Tyson era. You know, that was my heavyweight champion, Mike Tyson. You know, like untouchable unattainable the biggest figure in sports the biggest figure biggest figure in the world the most threatening man the most you know what i mean you know being a heavyweight champion is like an endangered species it can only be one you know and uh i don't care what y'all say he has given us 75 dollars worth of content just by picking up the phone matter of fact i'm gonna tell you what happens with deontay wilder oh it's a car accident uh, you contact him he'll call you back in 10 minutes 5 minutes no lie I purposely don't do interviews with Deontay Wilder because he's accessible when I see him you know I, I mean I can call him and get interviews 78 does a fantastic job at that and that's his that's his shit you know and I humbly respect that you know and um, Blue Blood I mean I'll still call him if I, on needy basis you know, him responding to Andre Ward. That's what a nigga does, man. Stop acting like at the end of the day, we ain't niggas, man. All right? I don't give a fuck where you come from. I, I'm considered a, what, a cornball nigga. I'm still a nigga in, inside of all this shit that y'all see. You know what I mean? I'm driving this fucking Tesla outside of all that shit. I'm still a fucking nigga, y'all. All right? I'm still that nigga, period. And so are you. Stop acting like we got to be, we got to, we got to put on a fucking collar. We got to put on the show. We got to be, nigga, we niggas, man. All right? And we going to support our niggas at the end of the day. I don't care what the pay-per-view numbers are. I'm the nigga that gets into the fight for free and still buys the pay-per-view. And y'all know how much I value money. Y'all know I don't waste fucking money. I, I do my laundry after 9 o'clock at night because the water rates are cheaper. The gas rates are cheaper. Well, I don't, you get what I'm saying? So come on, man. I, I still pick up pennies. Every time I see a penny when I'm on my runs in the morning or I'm leaving the supermarket, I pick that shit up. Yet, I know how important for us to advance Deontay Wilder. I know how important it is for us to buy his shirts. And 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 and, and let's keep it true. I'm not going to sit there and lie to y'all motherfucking Showtime ain't getting over on us. So is Nike. So is Reebok. All I wear is Nikes. I'm, I'm just being real with you. I don't wear Reeboks. I don't wear... I got over... Man, you guys... I'm not sure if I ever showed you my, my closet. I got nothing but Nikes and designer shoes. That's all I wear. They getting over on me. I know that shit only costs a dollar fifty to make in fucking Singapore and Bangladesh. And 
I know that. They getting over on us already. So I don't want to hear that shit. You know what I mean? Strike everybody. Strike everybody else who's, who's get, who you believe is getting over on you. You know what I mean? I know it. It's okay. Showtime is pulling a fast one on us. But I'm still fucking with Wilder. Period. And on the strength because he's a nigga, man. The same thing I did for Andre Ward. I bought his paper. I bought both Kovalev fight. Dre looks at me like I'm crazy when I buy the pay. Says because the pay per view, because the cable bill goes from $180 to $300 every time I buy a pay per view. She's like, "Why did you buy a fight?" She always said, "Why did you buy the fight?" It doesn't make sense. You go for free, you know. And that's just her being pragmatic. She's absolutely right. I have no reason to buy the fucking. I have no fucking reason to buy the pay per view. None whatsoever. But what do I do? I buy the I buy both Warwick Kovalev fights. You get what I'm saying? I'm being real. I buy the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight. I'm buying Dominic Brazil versus and 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 they gonna check and and, and they gonna check his brand loyalty. They gonna see, you know? I don't give a fuck, man. I'm riding with the nigga. Period. I told you if the nigga had a had a ten man march down in Alabama, I'm there. Man, it ain't. Man, we gotta support. Period. And because the society we live in, it's going to be a white man in the mix sometimes. A lot of times. You know, not all the time, but you know, they created the middleman on purpose. It's called an agent. It's called a manager. It's called a coach. So the motherfucker can stay relevant. You know? It's called the government. You know what I mean? Fight the government. Don't pay your fucking taxes. You know, you got potholes on your street. Don't pay your taxes. Go down to City Hall. Fight that fight. But at the end of the day, man, I just think it's just so important. I think it's exceptionally important that we support Deontay Wilder. He ain't no trick bag. He ain't going to trick us. Who just tricked us? Tyson Fury just tricked us. Uh, uh, Sean Porter didn't fight Earl Spence and vice versa. Uh, 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 what other fight? Leo Santa Cruz is not fighting Gary Russell. Um... Man, there's so many fights that we can go, man, that we can go down the list. Deontay Wilder chased these motherfuckers down, man. He he humbly, selflessly dropped his pride and, and accepted that $15 million deal with the one-way rematch clause, man. Come on, man. Man, y'all, man, and you know why? Another reason y'all niggas, did y'all hear that girl in my video talking about um, how important Deontay Wilder meant to her? So I don't want to hear no shit, no backlash. I can't. I understand it's not what we want. I get it. I'm not lying to you guys. I'm not lying. I'm not going to sit there and lie and say, uh, maybe, uh, it's not what I wanted. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's not really what I wanted. You know, it's like, I really want a Big Mac when I go to McDonald's and then that motherfucker come back with a fish sandwich. I don't want that shit. I don't want a two cheeseburger combo, nigga. I want a Big Mac. I know, but that's all. That's what we got. We eating two cheeseburgers. We eating fish sandwich. It's Fish Friday, nigga. Fuck it, all right? All right, and at the end of the day, and and, and I don't give i I'm speaking to my people. I don't give my black and brown brother. Y'all niggas got to stand up. Fuck the bullshit, man. Stand up. Y'all want to use the N-word? Y'all want to fuck? Nigga, well, stand up and buy Deontay Wilder's paper. Y'all want to be a part of the culture? Stand up and buy Deontay Wilder. All my Puerto Ricans, all my Dominicans, y'all want to use the N-word? Y'all want to say nigga? Well, buy the fucking $75 paper. Y'all want to be a part of the culture? All my Kim Kardashian heads who, who, who uh, got fake asses and fake lips and want to be a part of the culture. Go buy the fucking pay-per-view. Tell your husband, tell your boyfriend, and you go buy the pay-per-view. Fuck all that shit. Stop hijacking our culture and not putting money back into it, all right? That's just the way I feel. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, we gonna support Deontay Wilder. I'm gonna be in New York May 18th. I just fixed my schedule, so I will be there May 18th. Uh, I may have to miss the Jared Hurd fight May 11th. Because that's back-to-back -back weekends, and with two kids, it's rough, man. You know what I mean? Y'all, y'all know the drill. I got a lot of parents out there. Y'all get the, y'all get the real spill. So, man, at the end of the day, man, we riding with Deontay Wilder. Period. Man, I'm not laying down on that nigga right now. I'm not. I'm telling you, I believe. I'm not gonna sit here. I, I can't lie to y'all. I can't lie to y'all and say, I'm, I'm gonna try and keep it as 100 as I can with y'all. Showtime might be getting over on us. They might. 
Steven Espinosa might be pulling a fast one on us. They might have the budget to pay that nigga and not put it on pay-per-view. I don't know. I'm going to ask those questions. Is Dominic Brazil a true, true pay-per-view fight? No. But guess what? I don't give a fuck. All right? I'm supporting him. Period. I went to Earl Spence on Compo. Didn't make any money on that deal. I told Earl Spence to his face. I said, Earl. It was in my interview. Or, my interview, or that didn't per I don't know. Either one. I said, Earl. Earl can tell you that. I said, Earl, I didn't make any money on this fight, but I'm fucking with you. Period. I'm fucking with you on this old compo fight. It wasn't shit in there. Man, that nigga just... Listen. Nigga, niggas that don't speak English don't do shit on my channel. I'm just being real. Like, it, it, that's not my... That's not my... Uh, that's not my fan base. Y'all don't... I mean, I got niggas in... I got niggas fucking with me for real. And when I use the term nigga, I'm talking about my niggas, niggas, my black niggas. And I'm also talking about my niggas that be in these streets running hard. I'm talking about my niggas that be doing their job. Real niggas is a synonym for real men. All right? We, we going to level up. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, I'm fucking with Wilder. Period. That's my nigga in real life, man. For real. I'm going to see him next week. Uh, any questions you guys have for me, send it to me in my DM. But I'm... You know what I mean? I'm, I, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for uh, for uh, uh, maybe. I'm not here for maybe. I don't want y'all niggas say maybe I'm gonna watch Fred videos. I'm not here for y'all to say niggas fucking with me in other people's comment section. Maybe I'll support Fred today. Maybe I'll big up. Y'all niggas better stand up and fight for me all the fucking time. Y'all see what I fucking go through in this media shit. I don't want no sometime subscribers. I don't want no fucking when, when the summer come out. You, you, you only like women in the summertime. Nigga, I like women in the, in the wintertime when she got 14 layers on. Nigga, I, I want it all. I don't want no fucking halftime subscribers. If y'all see a nigga fucking with me, go in on they ass. Whether it be Twitter, Instagram, because I go hard for y'all motherfuckers. For real. Period. I ain't got time for these fake half. My window bust. I'm taking it to get fixed right now. So that wind, I, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm pulling up at the Tesla dealership right now. Shit, 344 fucking dollars for a window. Get the fuck out of here, man. I mean, can you believe that shit? $344 for a window. God damn. So anyways, man. We spend money. Nigga, if you go on a date to the movies now, nigga, the shit is $19. And what you gonna eat? Air sandwiches? What you gonna eat for dinner? Sleep? Y'all remember them days as a kid? What you gonna eat for dinner? Nigga, you better take your ass to bed, nigga. Shit, oh, you want these pork and beans or you want to go to bed? Ah, I think I'm going to go to bed. Nigga, I've, been, I've had nights like that. Come on, man. I'm fucking with Wilder. Period. And, uh, and if you're not fucking with Wilder, that's your choice. I'm not condemning you. I'm not condemning you. That's definitely what I'm not going to do. Because this is just one episode of, of the million episodes. Been, I'm, just, I'm just trying to convince you. Fuck, nigga just did an interview with Blue Blood for 40 minutes, yo. 40 minutes giving us great content you know what I mean so we fucking with them I'm fucking with them man I just pulled up and I don't want these crackers uh, thinking I'm crazy at this Tesla dealership so um, yeah so anyways man barbershop conversation I got a 930 appointment for my window alright good morning sir All right, good what are your last name? Uh, Hawthorne Hawthorne? Hawthorne yeah like the city I'm sorry, I had to just this thing. Hawthorne, awesome. awesome. like the city. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. All right, you're about two to five minutes, Mr. Hawthorne. All right, I'll get a service appreciate line. it. All right, barbershop conversations, man. I'm fucking gone, man. I got a whisper and shit. I got this Jewish guy with this fucking yarmulke and shit. He might think I'm fucking crazy and shit. You know what I mean? So, anyways, man, I'm on their land. I'm in their territory, right? So, I got to be respectful. So, anyways, man, shout out to all my Jewish motherfuckers, man. I had I had some great relationships with, with some Jewish kids when I was in New York, man. You know what I mean? So anyway, shout out to my motherfuckers, man. But we real niggas, man. Fuck that bullshit, man. We riding with Wilder, period. Barbershop conversations, man. Get down or lay down. Fuck it. That's what I'm saying. Break what? Uh, break bread or lay dead or fake dead. <laughs> That's what black fight fans say all the time. Anyways, man, I love y'all. At the end of the day, I love y'all. You cannot buy the pay-per-view. I'm still going to, I'm still going to, I'm still going to, you know, it's only one episode. My job is to convince you. That's it, period. Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.